Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate, JJ. <clears throat> Today I wanted to announce a new feature of the show. Um, as uh, the regular viewers will know, um, I have an old book section and a new book section of the show where I look at an old book and a, and a new book, respectively. Um, and my goal is that every time I do a project or, or a, um, a, a topic on the show, I'll have a, a corresponding new book section and an old book section. Um, and that's all going to continue. But uh, in addition to, to those features of the show, I'm going to be starting a new thing called the Exion One um, uh, feature of the show. It's going to be a little bit of a standout. It's, it's, a, it's a very specific thing that we'll be doing. Um, and uh, when I do the XM1 uh, videos, <coughs> I, uh, I won't be doing the silly job title, um, and I won't be doing the old book and the new book. So these things will just be little standalone projects. Now, when I use the expression XM1, I'm referring to the Maxitronics Electronic Project Labs. These things are great. They come out <laughs> in the 80s, maybe, or certainly the 90s. Um, and and they're, they're just little electronics project kits. Uh, I think I got pretty much the full set of them, um, and they range through from uh, the Maxitronics 10-in-1, which is the entry-level one, through to the Maxitronics 500-in-1, which is the, the, the pinnacle of, of their uh, kits. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you the various kits in just a minute. Um, but what we'll be doing in the XM1 uh, uh, segment is just going through the process of doing those projects. Um, we'll start with the 10-in-1, and we'll proceed through to the 500-in-1. Now, an XM1 video will have four parts. <clears throat> um, it'll have an introduction where we, we talk about what project we'll be doing. Then we'll have the project construction, which we'll do in the booth, um, and we'll put the project together and following the instructions in the manual. You'll be able to see the instructions in the manual. There's a special camera there for that. After the project uh, experiment is constructed, we'll bring it over to the bench, and we'll have a look at it under the scope and uh, with the, the power supply and... Um, uh, with the thermal imager and uh, the bench multimeter as may be appropriate. So uh, after we've, put the, the, we've constructed the project, we'll have a look at it and see how it behaves. Um, and then after that, we'll just close off the video with a little bit of a, a conclusion and a recap. So that's the format for an XM1 project. Um, in addition to the projects, every XM1 kit will have one video introducing the whole thing. And that will be a big, um, that will be a big introduction. We'll, we'll list every project, um, which won't be such a big deal for the 10 in one, but might take a very, very long time for the 500 in one. Um, and uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about uh, the introductory material in the um, manual. And, and, and so there'll be a, an introduction video for each kit, and then there'll be one video for every project in the kit. And it's my ambition to release uh, one video on the channel starting today, uh, one uh, video per day. So uh, in, into the future, uh, you, you should be able to expect that you, you can see a new video on In the Lab with JJ every day. Um, that's the plan, and we'll see how we go. Now, on with the purpose of this video, and that's to give you the broad view of what we'll be doing with the XM1 feature by having a look at the full set of kits that we'll be uh, uh, working through. So as I mentioned already, uh, the 10-in-1, um, this is the entry-level kit. Um, we'll be doing that first. Um, once we finish the 10-in-1, uh, the we'll be moving on to this one, which is called the Sensor Robot 20, Action Science Electronic Project Lab. So this is not in the format 20-in-1. It's just branded the Sensor Robot 20, but it's got 20 projects in it. So we're going to pretend that it's a 20-in-1, and we're going to call it the 20-in-1, and we're going to go through its 20 projects as our second kit. <coughs> then the next, uh, the Maxitronics Electronic Lab is the 30-in-1. So that'll be the third kit that we do. <coughs> and... Uh, this also is a little bit of an outlier. This is called the Electronic Digital Recording Lab, and it's got a little uh, integrated circuit that can apparently record digital information on it. I haven't used this yet. I've, I've never looked at it um, <clears throat> until today, that is. I popped the lid off today because I wanted to know how many projects were in here. It says here, safe, solderless, exciting, educational, and fun. More than 50 experiments using advanced integrated circuit technology. So um, I popped the, the lid and had a look at the manual, and there's 59, 59 circuits to be done in this, uh, in this electronic lab. Um, but I'm just going to stick with the 50 there, and we're going to call this the 50 in 1, which is a bit of a lie, but that's just between us. <laughs> After we've done that one, we'll move on to the 60 in 1, um, which is, again, just a continuation of the theme. Uh, this one's actually branded 60 in 1. You notice the font's a bit different. It must have gone to a different design team or something, but it's still out of Maxitronics. You might be interested to know that these various kits have been brand released under different name brands over the years. So you might see, I think, Elenco also make them. Um, and it's, it's kind of interesting. I'd love to know more about the history of these kits, but uh, I know them because when I was a child, I had the 200 in 1. Uh, and I always wanted to get the 300 in 1, uh, but I never could until I was an adult. Um, so, you know... Uh, just making up for lost time, of course. So this is the 60 in one. We'll be doing that uh, when we get to it. Um, after the 60 in one, starting to get more serious with the 130 in one. And then after the 130 in one, we go to the 200 in one. Now this is the one that I had when I was a kid. Um, and uh, so I've already done a few of these uh, uh, projects, but it would have been more than 30, 30, 34 years ago. 
which is a long time ago. Um, then after the uh, the 200 in one is the 300 in one. Now this is my favorite. I remember when I was a kid, I saw this breadboard and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Um, and so this is the 300 in one. As an adult, I actually uh, purchased uh, five of them. I've got five 300 in ones. Um, I only kept the box for one of them. Um, and the reason that I bought five was I wanted to use the uh, the project board just basically as my uh, my breadboarding system. It's it's a handy system to have because you've got a, a variable resistor uh, on call, similarly a tuning capacitor, um, various LEDs, a seven segment display, a, a light sensor, sen uh, a CDS cell for light detection, uh, an antenna, a power transistor, a switch, keys, terminals, and a speaker. So um, yeah, this as a, as a as a platform for just doing experiments in the lab, I thought was a, was just a great bit of kit to have. So I got five of them, so I could have a number of projects on the boil at the same time. So uh, this is what the three hundred in will look like when we get to it and then once we've been through all of those we'll end up here with the 501 which is a real big monster um, and you can see that the 501 comes in this cool briefcase kind of thing that you can flip open and it's got a, a breadboard and some components on the bottom and then it's got a screen at the top it's got a um, it's got a display and it's got a keypad uh, for programming the microcontroller. <laughs> you can actually program this thing using assembly instructions on the on the keypad so uh, we will be doing that when we get around to it and I guess uh, it wouldn't hurt to show you um, <coughs> just what uh, that briefcase thing actually looks like. So this is the uh, the Maxitronics 500 in one electronic lab, and it's got a little key, and then you can, oh, it's a bit dusty, let me, uh, let's clean that up a bit. So you can push that back and pop this up, and this is him. So uh, that's the, the, the kit, these are the buttons for programming it, that's the breadboard, that's the microcontroller, this is the LCD that comes with it. So um, that's what the 500 in one looks like, and uh, we will eventually get around to that one, but it might take a couple of years to get there. And then once we get there, it might take a couple of years to get through it. So, oops. sorry, wardrobe malfunction. So uh, that's nearly everything to tell you about the Maxitronic Electronic Project Labs. Um, but what I might mention just in closing is that I have a couple of extra little special purpose Maxitronic kits that I, I suppose I should mention. So um, this is the electronic crystal radio kit. Um, it's for building a crystal radio. I have uh, two of the following kits. This is the uh, electronic AM FM radio kit. Um, yes, as I say, I've got two of them. They're the same. Um, so there's the crystal radio and then there's the AM FM radio. And then there's also this one called the electronic metal detector. Um, I've had a brief play with these in the past. I, uh, I had some trouble getting the AM FM radio to work. I haven't made the crystal radio and I haven't made the metal detector. Um, but I won't be doing these three projects as a part of the XM1 feature. Um, however, if you have any interest in them, just let me know and I'll do an ordinary um, an ordinary project uh, video for In the Lab with JJ and we can have a look at these. So there's three projects to be done there. Uh, one of them we've got a duplicate of. Um, so that's, that's everything there is to know about my collection of Maxitronics Electronics Labs um, and uh, the plan uh, for, for working through them. Uh, by my estimation, if I did one project every day uh, to get through the whole lot, it would take about three and a half years. Um, so uh, there's a lot of content there. Um, I already did do one video um, as sort of like the prototype uh, for this segment of the show. And uh, I'm going to redo it because uh, I made a bunch of mistakes and I needed to fix a bunch of things. Um, but what I learned was actually it's it's a really cool thing to do. Putting the kit together, I mean, I've only done a very basic one that only required three wires, so it's perhaps not representative of what it'll be like uh, when we get into the, the, the nitty gritty of, of the bigger projects. But um, yeah, bringing the, the constructed project over to the lab and then having a look under under at it under the scope and under the thermal imager and, and, and just having investigating the circuit, um, it's, it's really great. It's really informative and interesting, and I, I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I look forward to, uh, to doing that with you. So um, that's everything there is to tell you about the Maxitronics Electronic uh, Lab, uh, the, the new feature of the show called the XM1 Projects. Uh, there will be, uh, going on with the new, um, uh, the, the new segment of the show, um, I'm going to have a, a, a homepage for the uh, In the Lab with JJ videos. I'm, at the moment, I'm kind of managing it in, in my blog, which is WordPress. Um, but it's going to suit me more to have a, uh, a database um, instead of just a manual HTML thing. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of days. Um, so, uh, yeah, stand by for that. I'll announce it on the uh, on the blog, and uh, it'll just be around in future. So uh, that'll be www.jj5.net slash in-the-lab in the lab at jj5.net. So uh, that's everything to tell you about the new feature of the show, and I look forward to uh, getting a few videos done, and I'll see you next time.